what I've done here is taken a Janus 060 shell frame and incorporated into a Bachman 45 tonner chassis. I've installed headlights, both sides operational, front and back. Cut away some of the front, took away the bumpers of the Janus 060. And I cut away some of the front to uh, incorporate proper height and new KD couplers to Americanize it, both sides, as you can see. And there's a little headlight and even an operational beacon. So stay tuned and I'll show you just how I did it. Okay, so to start, I have grabbed one of my 45 tonners, which I absolutely love, okay? So I'm gonna show you the bottom side. So on the bottom side of the 45 tonner, you've got, you know, you got the wheels here, right? So this, this here is the chassis to the 45 tonner. Same one that's under this guy, okay? On the bottom side of the 45 tonners, this is where the wheels snap in. This, this screw here, you can't see uh, on the one I'm showing you because if you ever take one of these apart, here's here's the one that I took the this chassis from. See, this screw, holds in the bottom platform of the 45 tonner on both ends here, okay? But instead, here, this is the lower walkway to the, the Janus 060. This is an Oxford rail train. Um, so what I did was take a piece of 1 16th styrene. It's the strongest I kind of had right now. And right right about in here now uh it 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 was able to just fit right in so i inserted the chassis from the top rested it down on there and then screwed these in and it holds it in place um that's where i'm at so far but i found out <laughs> right here i put electrical tape in uh this electrical tape, um, I, I, I didn't realize because this metal, this is metal. So we were getting, we weren't isolating the motor. So it was, it was reacting really strange on my uh, layout. So I realized, oh, okay. So when doing this, if you want to create, you know, get this project going yourself, make sure you isolate this metal from touching this metal, which it does, um, from the top and i don't know if you can see it from here but i tell you what i'll do because i do need to take this back off Let, let's let's just show you so we'll unscrew these okay and it doesn't take much to unscrew those they're they're great little fasteners and they're just holding in a place right so remove those off okay and then this just kind of slides out okay so it's this metal it's these metal pieces here on the chassis of the 40 bachman 45 tonner that rest right on this area and here you can see there's there's some electrical tape um isolating it because these are two pieces of metal this is metal and so is this right um and i'm gonna have to fix this up now you can see um for my 45 tonner, I already had LEDs um, to uh, to light up the front and back. Um, but what I think I'm going to do, and I think I still have enough here, that if I can get this shell, which it fits in here too, okay? But the only issue that's going to happen here that I haven't done yet is that this is the area we're going to have to we're going to have to trim some of this plastic away. All right, so that, and you won't see that from the outside. So that's going to be the next step we do. I can tell we're going to have to do that. Um, but because I already have a couple 45 tonners and I just got to experimenting, I'm like, this is, this could work. So I'm going to follow through with this project. But as I said, this inserts in here, 
and you kind of get it centered fairly well, okay? Um, and it's a snug fit because of that um, electrical tape. And when you're doing it, you kind of want to line up, see what, what the Oxford comes with are these pieces here, okay? These are, these insert into here, like so. But we're removing them for this project because, uh, you know, we're not using the, um, we're not using the steam locomotive wheels and the, and that. So we're, we removed those and that's where the cross brace comes in. So that's where I'm at so far. And you can see this is the area uh, where the screws went into. Um, I, I tried to make that as quick as possible, but that's where I'm at so far with this project. Um, so what I think I'm going to do with the LEDs that I have here now is remove them from here. And actually, um, I'm, I'm probably going to add some plug inserts um, from the decoder. And we're probably going to uh, use putty. And, and these do not come with a light. But I think I might end up adding lights there. Or I may end up doing... No, I don't know. No, I'm not going to... I'm not going to put in ditch lights. It's a lot of work <laughs> and you have to be careful of the metal and stuff like that. But I probably will remove these, but I'm not sure yet. Um, but for now, it's just getting the whole thing put back together and taking a look at where we're at. Okay, so now I have modified the shell to fit our chassis with decoder on it. Okay. Um, and I can get that to snap right down in there, like so. I took my handy little Dremel tool here and uh, carved out those little sections right in there so that this lip on the chassis um, can fit right into that gap when we snap on the shell just like that. And that should be all we need to do for this. But before I start snapping this all together with the chassis on it, I want to, um, I'd like to see what I have. I want to make some adjustments to this decoder and all of that. Now I got to go that route too. So, all right. We'll be back. Okay, let's test this out. Let's get our lights on. All right, there's our beacon on the top. That's working. We have our plugs inserted. Uh, we got the, let's change direction. Maybe that's why we're not seeing that. Let's go back. Uh, light is not on. There it is. So this is our reverse light here. I don't know if I have the shell on the right way. I, I think I do. Let's give it a little speed. Yeah, so that's reverse. Those are the holes we drilled in the little, uh, the plastic insert for the light um, I used is a, let's switch over here. Let's switch direction. There it goes. And there's our front light. The housings I used for these are um, from uh, Extra P 
pieces I had for a Buckman 70 tonner. Um, if you're familiar with the HO, they have the two little uh, light inserts on the front and the back. Um, but this Janus 060, or I should say 0 6 0, I think I said that right. Anyway, um, these do not come with headlights, they don't have headlights. Um, so that's why I needed a directional push here with these and then uh, we've got this side and we're, we're good. Plugs are working well. Um, here's the lighting, all the wiring. None of it um, is, okay, let's be careful. None of this is uh, shrink. We don't have the tubing uh, shrunk yet. So that's the next step. I, I kind of like to test it all out before I start getting all this stuff permanently in place. So there you have it. We're getting there. So at the workbench, I've posted a lot of photos. Um, we have our couplers in. Um, as you've all seen, I had to trim out in the photos. I had to cut out an area for the coupler height. Um, engaged it well, um, and the styrene is all in there. Uh, painted the sides of the styrene here too. <clears throat> to keep our chassis in place. We've got those, and then this area was to level out the, um, that was to level out <clears throat> uh, the couplers coming out of the pocket there. I'll get it over here and I'll show you. Both sides are hooking up nice and level there. Boom. So here it is, our final install. Our Bachman 45 tonner chassis and wheels, I should say trucks, uh, sitting underneath, a custom fit to a Janus 060 by Oxford Rail. I installed a headlight in the rear. You can see it there in the front and a rotating beacon. And, um, had to cut out and make some uh, meg shift couplers out of some styrene underneath. And, um, and this is the final result. I'm very happy with this. It has a really neat look to it. Very industrial. Took off the bumpers front and back also. But if anybody ever wants to do an install like this, um, it fits and it works. It's a bit of work, but uh, the end result could be very satisfying. All right, until next time, thank you again. Hope you enjoyed this video.